Today I'm at a location that I visited for the first time last summer, Roselle Park in Ada. Because of a view of the Grand River and the peaceful setting, I thought I'd come back again. So let's take a look and see what it has to offer. Last time I talked about walking around a subject of interest and determining the best angle before taking a photo. This tree is a perfect example of that. When I spotted it last summer, the sun was shining directly on it. But if you look at that image, you can't really distinguish this tree from the surrounding trees and shrubs. I also took a shot vertically from a different vantage point. This left too much dead space in the upper right corner, and it still didn't convey the full character of this tree. Finally, when I shot the tree so it was backlit, the fragile branch stood out, as well as the weathered trunk with intriguing clouds as backdrop. This right here speaks to me because I like the contrast between the old growth and the new growth. I talked about moving around at a subject of interest to find the right angle. So right here you see a lot of buds lit up by the sun. So maybe you have to kneel down a little bit to get underneath them. Just depends on which way the lighting works out the best. Some of these might look better backlit and some of these might look okay with the sun directly on them. Think again about having a dark background so that the subject of interest stands out. While I did take some color photos the last time I was here, there was one image that changed to black and white. When color doesn't play a vital role in the image, or it even detracts from the subject matter, I usually shoot in black and white. This semi-submerged rock and floating leaf intrigued me because of the shapes and mood but the brown color of the water wasn't attractive. Changing it into black and white makes it timeless and draws your eyes to the light and dark contrast. The leaf almost appears suspended in space with a nearly abstract background and environment surrounding it. Think about framing up your shot. Here's a path in front of me and it has a lot of trees and growth along the sides of it. So that's going to make for an interesting shot while also showing off the pathway. And then also at the end of the trail is a small tree, so it kind of gives you a sense of purpose in leaving the trail. Roselle Park features both a paved and a natural trail, both of which offer opportunities to see wildlife amidst prairies, wetlands, and forests. Here are some shots I took last year while on an exploratory trek on the trails. to take images of nature thriving in spite of what's going on in our world. So if you look right here at this little growth, it could be a dandelion, it could just be something else growing in the crook of that tree. That's what I'm going to take a picture of because I like the contrast and the play of the highlight on it as well as the tree itself shows off textures and the environment. And I like the story that it tells of survival. One possible shoot in the morning or evening when you have the golden light. There's something peaceful about the morning light because things are just waking up and you can hear the sounds around you. This provides beautiful highlights on whatever subject matter you're shooting. Here's another path I'd like to take a picture of. It's a nature trail. When taking pictures of trails or straight lines, try and compose it so that there's something more to it to show the character of it. So instead of just focusing on the trail, maybe do a horizontal shot and include like the creek next to it. When you're out exploring, Look for details that you can photograph, things that will help you remember the location better. 
not just broad landscape shots, but close-ups, textures, anything that will help you remember that spot a little bit more and the time of year that you were out as well. It gives you more of an intimate knowledge of the location that you visited. Working with both the Ada Township and the Ada Open Space Task Force through a community partnership initiative, the Land Conservancy of West Michigan helped to turn this former pasture land into a township park. Once home to the Ada Beef Company, Roselle Park is now a nature preserve covering over 240 acres. For more information, check out adamichigan.org. Thanks for exploring with me.